Hello, you happy gardeners? Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've got Charlie on camera again, our original Charlie man. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. Um, I'll just show you a picture of Charlie. He um, he was Slim Shady and he's now gone for the American Marine look. And he has a hat with a little, show him the little thing. This is so My you don't lose your hat. hat. Yeah. It's like that thing you have on gloves when you're yeah. a kid, don't you, Slim? Anyway, on your mittens. So, back to the demo. Today we are planting up hollyhock seeds. Now hollyhocks, you normally plant them in January, February, even March, but I'm going to plant them a bit later because summer has been taking so long to come on this year. Let's try and plant with it. Also, hollyhocks are eaten by slugs, they get rust. If you don't use um, things to get rid of that and things to get rid of the slugs like I don't, you just have to grow loads of them. Grow loads and loads of them and some of them will survive. So anyway, to do this we need a plastic pot, recycle everything. I'm going to put some holes in the bottom of that. Some compost. Our compost wants to be a nice gritty, yeah that's it, show Charlie. Um, you, you can get some seed compost, give it a sieve or you can get some multi-purpose compost, add some sand to it. Give that a sieve. You want it nice and fine. Also, we want hollyhock seeds. Now, hollyhock seeds, Charles, if you can get the camera in here. I collected my own from last year. There you go. That's what they look like. Dry them out. Keep them. And uh, they'll grow into plants. Now, hollyhock seeds like to have a 12-hour soak before you plant them out, if they're dry like this. So, you pop them in some water. A bit of warm water, not too hot. A little bit of warm water in the morning. Or you do it in the evening, if you're going to pot up in the evening or however you're going to do it. So, we also need a pair of glasses, a label, a pen... And here are hollyhock seeds. As you can see, I've been soaking them in water for the last 12 hours. Right then, our pot from the supermarket. We want some drainage in this. So we give it a good stabbing all over so that the water can drain out of that. And then we fill it with our seed compost, like that. Give it a fill it up to that sort of level like that. Flatten him off a bit. Give him a bit of a press down. And then, Charlie, if you can follow this onto the floor, we are now going to give it a bit of a soak. So... Get a bit of water in there. That will drain through nicely because we've got nice sand in there and that will stop the seeds from rotting. There we go. Now, we get our hollyhock seeds out just with your finger, like this. Now, you don't need to plant them too closely together because these can be left in here um, until they get to quite, you know, a few inches tall before we actually want to pop them up. I've got some more to show you in a minute. Anyway, everyone's going to get bored if I pot out all of these, so I'll just, pot out, I'll just plant out a few. There we go. You're getting bored yet, Charlie. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> right, so pop those on and then we give them a bit of a fine coating, sort of quarter of an inch, five millimetres, that sort of thing that we want to put over the top of that, like that. And then we stick our label in and there we go. Leave that for about two weeks to germinate. Um, they, they like light to germinate. That's why I put a very thin coating on here and it's a very gritty mix. So I'm hoping that the, the light will get through to that and we'll have a nice good germination rate. After a couple of weeks, they will germinate and they'll turn into things like this. There we go. There's some there that I planted on the 21st of the 2nd this year. As you can see, little things are already trying to nibble them. I'll do another little post and show you how to pop those up. Um, and um, there we go. This has been Robbie Phoenix and Charlie on camera down at Stinky Ditch Nursery. If you don't want to grow any of this stuff and you just want to buy it, come and visit us at www.stinkyditchnursery.co.uk. Thanks for watching.